Eight. All right, Tractor Lulu Windy versus this defense. This seems less threatening than Savannah, so I guess we'll just see how it goes here. I didn't really put any additional dam or damage reduction on. I mean, my my Windy's normal artifact is 9% fire damage reduction. But I did not put, like, dark reduction on anybody. That was a lot of turns that he just took. Stun him so he doesn't take too many more. Alrighty. I'll just buff. Um, I wonder if I can kill Nana first here. See how squishy Nana is. Although I, I, I don't like wasting the tractor hit. I want to stun something. Like this guy. I like getting my three hits with tractor. Also, this Ken's dying pretty fast. Hits me with the Shin Ryukin. Very cool. Go ahead and punch him to death. Get some immunity going. And I guess I can just kill... Well, he's so low health, but he's also not doing anything, so I'm going to kill... the Nana. Um, the Nana's about to die. I kind of want immunity right now, because, like, right now is the last turn that things can go horribly wrong. As soon as the Nana dies, things really can't go horribly wrong anymore. I'll take my immunity now until the Nana's dead, and now my immunity is going to fall off for a turn. And that's fine. Alrighty, we fought a, a Dark Monkey version of this defense. That's exciting. Cool, we did it. Am I going to do the thing where I keep saying I should stop using Ethna, but I keep using Ethna? I think so. Uh, this Tessarian has runes? Yes. Water reduction? Yes. Uh, Lulu, wind reduction. Ethna is just on, like, additional damage. Because she's here to throw down. Let's try this. Um, do I try to stun that or do I just take that shield and try to kill this thing? Depends if I'm getting cut here. Do I think he's going to move before my immunity? I think we'll go this way. I've tried to kill the Savannah too many times, and it's not worked out for me, so I'm going to try to just kill the Molly this time. Oh no, I got defense broken. Alright, this is going to hurt a lot. Because we had defense break on him, so we uh, didn't get our Tessa passive there. Uh, let's try and kill this thing now. Get that out of the way. But yeah, that's the reason I keep saying that uh, I should stop using Ethna. Is because we don't get our Tissarian passive because we keep putting defense break on his Molong. But then I keep using Ethna anyway, so... I don't take my advice, why should you? I 
It's fine. Everything worked out fine. Okay, so for this defense, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. So we're going to bring a crit damage Carcano. Uh, what kind of artifact is he running? Okay, not terrible. Uh, we're going to bring Platy. We're going to bring our Lulu with our Wind Reduction artifact. And we're just going to go ahead and go in. Uh, our plan here is to reset Ayunu and kill him. And then it's going to take us some time, but we'll be able to get through the others after that. Right, he got the, the opening of his dreams. And a violent proc. Alright, only one violent proc, not enough. Did I get a violent proc? No, maybe next time. We need to poke this, make sure it's out on the lowest health on his team so we can defense break it and kill it. Just like so. And we should be stable. Um, it, it might take us a little while to kill the Molly because we do have to... Uh, we're going to kill the Orion first, so it might take us a while to land a crit on the Orion with our Carcano. And then after that, fighting the Molly can take some time, but it should be okay. Uh, we can't hit Molly because we have to... Make sure that this is the lowest health so we can defense break it. All right, no crit that time. Perhaps next time. Platy gang. Feels good to actually get to use Platy. Okay, good. We didn't crit. I would have felt bad if we... Uh, crit the one time that we missed the defense break. Platy's so cool. I used to run Platy on defense back when I like first got my Barbara. I did Ciara Barbara Platy. I was like, she revives. It's great for Beast Riders. That defense did not do very well. We all hate Orion. Kind of a weird decision of uh, for Calm to us to buff Orion. But, like, here's a monster that nobody likes playing against. Let's uh, put it back into the siege meta. Oh no, this Orion's tanky. Wait, can we even get through it? Oh, we can strip. Nice. Not that we needed to. Still have to stance. Relax. Relax. They nerfed that. You're not supposed to be able to do that as much anymore. Okay. So this is going to be a bit of a wait as well. Uh, we don't have very high accuracy on our Carcano. We do have a skill 3 accuracy artifact that I forgot to show before we started the fight. But I think our, our, our accuracy is like, it's not more than 30, so... <laughs> Bit of a waiting game here. We should get through it eventually. We either have to like land defense break twice in a row or we have to like get a violent proc. And you know, without him getting a violent proc, it'll happen. We'll win eventually, I promise. I'm choosing to do this instead of like, I could have brought a, a uh, destroy Carcano into this match. I didn't do that just because I want the better turn one RNG against his Orion. I want three uh, will runes so that I can dodge some stuff against his Orion. That didn't help here because he stripped and defense broke our Lulu anyway, which is the you know, worst case scenario. But that's still that's still the idea. So we win eventually. We're cleaving. Let's see how this goes. 
I think this should work. Landed all of our defense breaks. That's a good start. Landed all of our pushbacks. That's a good continuation. And we landed all of our kills. That's a good uh, kill. Great, we did it. Look at us go. Okay, so. Uh, my Leo's still on double will shield. Uh, full tank build. We've got light and wind reduction. I don't know if that's the best build. Crit damage is probably better for this particular defense. But, uh gonna see how it does 22 wind reduction uh tessarian i still have on water damage reduction with a bit of wind reduction which a lot of these nanas actually do damage so i don't mind having the uh um water reduction there we'll go in why double will uh, originally it was for the ken version of this defense i didn't want to get branded on turn one Okay, there's one AoE defense break used, but the, uh, the Savannah did not use hers. Yeah, I ruined um, this particular Leo for the, the Ken version. I can kill the Savannah for the first time. Oblivion it again. No defense breaks, please. I can get this thing dead. And we're going to work on the light thing now, just because um, I only have one damage dealer. And my damage dealer is not good at killing water monsters. So we're going to kill the thing that my damage dealer can kill. Decent damage from the Tian Lang, but I uh, don't think we need to worry just yet. Only a matter of time until, you know, one of us kills the other. That's how Summoner's War works, unless you're in a draw. Okay, we did it. Now we can press auto. Yeah, I, I think like a, a tanky crit damage Leo is probably a bit better for this one than this full tank Leo that I'm running. But um, I don't think it's, it's that big of a difference, but it's uh, it helps you guarantee killing stuff a little bit faster early on in the fight when the speed at which you kill things matters. Oh, also, I'm, use, I'm not using resistance leader because resistance is not going to help against a 55 accuracy leader on the other side. Well, hey, YouTube, the rest of my attacks in this siege finished up off stream. So let's talk about those. Up first, we've got my Tessarian Lulu Triana versus Ciara Orion Perna. Um, with Lulu and Triana, it's just kind of like, you know, a couple layers of safety for to, you know, hedge against a really bad turn one. Where like if they defense break my if they defense break and kill my Tessarian, then Triana's gonna save him. If the defense break and kill my Lulu, then Triana's gonna save it. If the defense break and kill Triana, then like Tessarian Lulu has a pretty good shot at killing this entire enemy team 2v3. Um so it's like, yeah, it's not perfect, but there's a lot of kind of layers of safety, is the idea with an offense like this. I mean, obviously we're just bruisering them. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and kill the Perna first, and we're just going to leave ourselves with the Ciara Orion. Uh, the Perna is quite scary. But just the Ciara damage is, is pretty tankable. So Ciara is down. Or not Ciara, Perna is down. Uh, I think I did switch my Tessarian to fire damage reduction for this one. Just in case you're trying to keep track of artifacts. And this would be a tanky Triana with fire damage reduction as well. It must be because it was on Will Runes for the Orion turn one. 
My damage tree on is not on wheel runes, it's on destroy. So yeah, this one went really smoothly. Obviously, turn one, um, the enemy team derped, so not, not the best benchmark as far as how this usually goes, so you know. Test on your own guildies before you use it. I'm sure that your guildies also have CR Orion burn of defenses because everybody has built them after the balance patch buffing Orion and Perna. Dang it. Nobody likes Orion. Um, what else is there to talk about? I don't think this Orion's gonna win. I'm fairly certain we're gonna we're gonna win this one. Let's talk about the siege in general. Uh, it was a really close siege. Sinfully Deep did really well. We managed to uh, win in the end. But one of the reasons I only got to do five attacks on stream is because, like, our attacks really started mattering by the end and we actually had to, you know, save them for the appropriate times and win them. So I had to finish up later on in the evening. Up next, uh, we have a Miles team. And the funny thing is, I'm bringing a team that has a whole bunch of buffs against Miles, right? Miles, uh, his passive scales up with how many buffs are on my team. And I'm kind of just giving him as many as he could ever want because I think that Miles isn't going to be able to kill my tanky water monsters regardless. I think that uh, I've got a wind tank for his Carcano damage and I've got water tanks for his Miles damage and neither of them is going to burst me hard enough to actually kill me. So I went ahead and killed his Reviver quick. Now we're just waiting to stack up our Bulwark again. There's no healing on his team at this point, so we just need to get a couple you know, five stack Bulwarks off and the fight should be over. Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike Miles, but Miles isn't enough damage just on his own to really get through tanks like, uh, like how Bulwark and Molong are ruined. And then Riley, because like I keep saying, I love Riley with this offense. I think it's great. I love that I can bring a, I love that it's not triple water. I love that I have a, uh, a wind tank for fire threats. Always works out really well for me. Up next, this one was, uh, so it's a Narsha defense. Narsha being probably the scariest defense monster in Siege. Uh, our thought here is we have a Windy to tank this Perna. So Windy's always going to be what Perna is attacking. All we have to do is kill this Narsha before it kills one of our water monsters. Um, so that Narsha proc was really bad for us. Gets the defense break on us and then moves again before we can cleanse ourselves. So we do lose our Elusia there, which is not ideal. You would prefer to not, you know, lose your monster. Um... I don't think we're quite out of it yet. We get a we get the first hit defense break on the Narsha. And now we have a healer. We have the shields from the uh the Windy as well. Well we kind of do. The way the turn order is working out, the shield keeps falling off before my vigor gets attacked. So maybe they'll do us a favor and lap me at some point. But uh we're holding on. We're, we're doing okay, you know? I figure I'm not going to worry about the Perna because my Windy can tank the Perna just fine. So I don't really need to kill the Perna. Although, I, I remember now watching my Vigor get stunned there that over the course of this fight, I get my Vigor gets stunned so many times by this Perna. Like, if you had told me that the, uh, the Sylvia was on Despair, I believe you because of how often my Vigor got stunned. It's like Vigor getting stunned is like first the Perna has to not glance, right? And then what's the activation on Perna's stun? Like 50%, so it's like a 25% chance or something. I guess that's not too bad. I 
I don't know if Perna's stun activation is actually 50% though, I'd have to look into it. Either way, what's more important is that uh, we held out long enough, the Sylvia is now dead, and there's no way this Perna can beat us 1v2. So yeah, uh, Narsha is scary. I don't like fighting Narsha, but uh, our team worked out. I think it should be mentioned that Narsha going after my Alusia is a 1 in 3 there. If Narsha had gone after either of the other monsters, I think this team would have been safer. And also, people who tell you, I guess now's a good point, people who tell you that uh, when all of your monsters are at full health, the enemy can still tell which has the lowest health, those people are wrong and bad. And it's very easy to test it yourself. They, the, the AI only cares about percentages, not about actual numbers, unless it's like putting a shield on someone with Kamun passive. So now we have uh, MST or TMS, T, yeah, TMS. Um, I figure this isn't much different from MST in that the same counter is gonna work. Uh, obviously the defense leader makes it so that you can be a bit stronger against some of the, um, the damage counters to this defense, where like people will use um, like a, a Vertiheil team there's a few different Vertihile teams out there, I think. So I think the defense leader helps against those, but my team is mostly doing additional damage, so I don't think the defense leader is going to help as much against me. But I think this is basically just the same as when it's a Martina leader for the purposes of the team I'm using. In fact, without the attack leader, maybe it means the uh, the Triana is just going to do less damage to us. So now it's just the, uh, you know, the wrapping up of this fight, as we've all seen before, because I, I keep using this team. It's a good team. Killing Triana first. Just because, I don't know, it doesn't really matter which one you kill first when you have all three of your monsters alive, but killing Triana first is how you win if your Lulu's dead, so... Not a bad thing to get in the habit of doing. All right, and I think we have one more. Yeah, one more. So but the last one, same as the first one, you know, we hit this defense uh, as the first thing we hit this siege using the exact same team. Um, it seemed like this defense just didn't really threaten us at all. So I wasn't worried to go back in and do the same thing. Went ahead and put a slow on the monkey there to stop him from taking more turns, I guess. Killing Ken first, just because he's the easiest to kill. This will be a, uh, a nice 10-0 for us. There was a couple in there that uh, were a bit iffy, I think, from me. Obviously, the Narsha one was very scary. But we, we made it. We got there anyway. Um, and like I said, this was a pretty close siege. Sinfully Deep played really well this time. Um, big improvement over the last time we played them. So kudos to them for just a pretty darn good win rate. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.